Hello, my name is Adam Lockley, and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly fight as the Path of Titan's mother giant salamander. In this video we'll be going over the following topics. Now due to the stats of the salamander and its nature, we're going to have to approach this a bit differently. But I can assure you, if played correctly, the salamander are quite OP. So much to the point that I actually believe that they might have to give him a nerf in the future, so take what I say as temporarily. I know that the man the myth the legend behind this creature said it himself that this creature was not meant to compete with apexes like Tyrannosaurus or Spinosaurus. I'm not saying that he is wrong, but with the salamander's current abilities, and utilized correctly in the right circumstances, it has more than enough capability to compete with apexes. I'll talk more about this later, but for now let's look at the salamander's arsenal. In the first nameless slots, which I assume are just extras, we have two abilities, the first one being Nimble, which just increases your turning radius. The second ability is Nictitating Membrane that lets you see clearer underwater. For head abilities, we have three options. The first one is Charm. This is a charge up ability that deals damage depending on how long it's charged up. Then we have the normal standard bite, nothing too much about it. I like the icon though. Lastly, we have Clamp. That grabs the player up to a certain size and you can basically kidnap them. For sense abilities, we have four options. The first one are Nocturnal. This ability boosts your damage and movement during night. Secondly, we have Hydrated Blows and if it does as the description says, then I really wish there were a spitting mechanic. Lone Salamander are basically what the last giant Japanese salamander will be if their fate are to go extinct. Oh, but here it increases your armor and maneuverability. Nest Protector are basically you willingly taking on the role as a babysitter. Please don't take my slight pause as something negative. Being a babysitter, it really helps parents get a break from the wild existence that is... children. For front lane we have two slots and we have two abilities. First we slide to the left, then we slide to the right. Cha-cha real smooth. This is actually the first time I've seen where changing the diet will benefit the creature. If you change your diet to carnivore, your attack damage will go up with 2. It's not much, but hey, welcome any buff no matter how small. For hide, we have 4 options. The first one is toxic mucus. Basically, it has properties similar to one of Mitria campus hides. Any attackers will be poisoned if they attack you. Also, your skin dries faster, which helps your wallowing ability. And trust me, without it, you dry it up very slowly. Secondly, we have Regenerating Hide, that increases your healing rate. And if you were to have maybe just 25% left of your health, if you were to go into full sleep with this equip, you will be able to heal up to full health within a minute. I haven't tested it though, but it heals really freaking quick. Then we have Resilient Hide, that just increases your bleed and venom healing. And lastly, we have Slippery Hide. Basically, the stamina drain on struggling and buckling will be more sufficient and more effective. For backlim ability, we have two abilities, and the first one is Embankment. If you swim slowly for 5 seconds, your damage and bleed resistance will increase exponentially. This is similar to the Anotosaurus Hunker Down ability, but this one is for salamanders. Also, it only works if you are in water and you have to be submerged, you can't stay at the surface or it won't activate. The second ability are Rapid Lunge, that just propel you forward in water. Also, it only works in water. It does cause damage to anything you hit though, so... For Tail Slot, we have two abilities. The first one is just a standard tail attack. The second one is a swimming tail, that just increases your movement in water. Out of the six subspecies options that are given, I recommend extra swimming speed, extra health, and extra stamina recovery. 
The reason I recommend these subspecies over the others are due to the fact on just because of how the salamander has to fight. Despite how it looks, the best way to fight as this thing is actually through head-to-head -head clashing, a fighting style more commonly seen with apexes. You will understand once I show you the examples, but for now let's first talk about terrain compatibility. As a semi-aquatic, it can fight on both land and in water, but unlike a Spinosaurus, the salamander are more dependent on the water source. It will also be better if the water source are rather deep. This is not to do with any terrainal disadvantages or advantages, but to prevent any possible counterplay. Now, the actual best strategy to fight as a salamander, or any creature for that matter, is just to stick an army on the unfortunate enemy. However, that does prevent to see one's true combat potential, so we're gonna focus on solo play for now. For lower tiers, for a certain size, I recommend this arsenal. It is highly unlikely that you'll be able to land a charge bite on a fast low tier. Furthermore, even if your high does grant some kind of defense, having a water source nearby always a good thing to have. Not just to have a good getaway card, but also to aid you into killing your enemies. Now of course, this plan are limited due to size, and if you choose to fight on land, you will have the terrainal disadvantage. Furthermore, most of your abilities are abilities that grant you buffs if you are in water, so leaving water will prevent you from even using your abilities to fullest potential. Not to mention, your overall defense really sucks. Of course, all of this can be solved by just seeking an army on them. But this strategy is boring, so I will teach you how to prepare yourself and how to turn the conditions of battle in your favor. First you need to equip these abilities, now the key here is the back limb ability. Remember how I said that the embankment ability are basically the same as the Undertotosaurus hunker down ability? Any experienced player should know how OP the hunker down ability is. Yes I know the slow movement are boring, but the amount of defense you gain are just exponential. Without this ability that increases your resistance, your default defenses are rather saddening. <laughs> this also goes to show that having a deeper water will allow you to have more room to move in and flee. I think I've gotten the point across that a salamander without embankment has shit defenses. He doesn't have any bleed attacks either, so he can't really utilize a hit and run tactic either, especially if you are alone. But in a situation where you have room to move and embankment, you can become an aquatic apex hunter. You are still facing an apex, so you shouldn't face tank every shot. Fortunately for you, you are smaller, so it should be more easier for you to maneuver in water. Thanks to the damage resistance and a little maneuverability to avoid getting hit yourself, you can force even the big boys to flee. I believe this helps to prove my claim at the beginning that the salamander has the potential to compete with even the apexes. Now I mentioned one counterplay and this counterplay are basically one that will kill you. And the best defense you have against this counterplay is to equip slippery hide. You see the embankment ability only activates if you are submerged in water. So what happens if somebody has the ability to force you out of water? 
Your only choice is to struggle and hope you get out before you reach that point. So to summarize, try to stay in areas with deeper water and for the love of victories, have embankment equipped. Keep the fight in the water and if you can, try to tailrite your opponent. Eventually, victory shall be yours. Now before I end the video, the giant salamander mod was added to the game just a few days before the upload of this video. All I'm saying, you'll probably have to expect a few changes, but that's just how it is. If you found this video informative and helpful, please show your support to the channel. And with that, I will be seeing you guys later. Goodbye!